Hello everyone and welcome back to Surviving Mars. First of all, I would like to thank you for the support uh, you gave to the channel. It's uh, it's really really good and I'm I'm very happy that you are enjoying uh, this series. I'm even that means I enjoy even more uh, doing it. So and if you like it, please uh, don't forget to press the like button down there. Okay, now I think that's enough intro. Let's let's look around and see how we are doing. At least uh, we're not dead, and that's the only good thing I can uh, say right now. Um, yeah, we have five senior uh, settlers or colonists. That's the correct term. Okay. We'll, we'll see how how that goes. We really need to expand here because we need the electronics factory. That would be the last step to being uh, self-sufficient. Well, that and the moisture evaporators, of course. But we have plenty of water here to sustain us for a while. Okay, how about research? Ah, now I remember. We want to build this one, because it's more effective than the infirmary. And the Olga scanner to ramp up the birth rate. Okay, so that's the plan. So let's get to it. Look at this. It's working like a charm. I also remembered that we bought an RC safari and we will do some planetary anomalies and I believe one of them is is a research progress. Let's let's check real quick. There's an unknown and there's a research progress. Also I realized that now we have enough uh, people to run the machine parts factory and the polymer factory in parallel and we can still produce some rare metals which we will need uh, for the electronics factory and in the meanwhile we are collecting uh, metals And only 17 hours to microgravity medicine. Okay, so let's go. I'm I'm still I, I have a good vibes for now. I have hope, but uh, it can turn out that hope is a mistake. We'll see. Okay, the safari is here. So hopefully the drones will quickly refuel the rocket and we can Sector launch seven. it before the electrostatic dust storm hits us because of course there is an electrostatic dust storm on the way and we have a new anomaly which is a breakthrough technology i'm currently not that interested in that remove the rare metals because we don't need that for the expedition come on i positioning the commander here so the commander's drone will only do the refueling and nothing else that means six drone will be constantly refueling and i think we can send it. Oh, this is going back to Earth with uh, a lot of rare metal. That's good. Yeah, I think I think we can launch it before the storm. It doesn't matter that we couldn't, uh, we can't land it. Today okay. was a tough one. We lost. Rest in we peace. gather here today 
Okay, but at least they are dying from old age. And guys, what are you doing with the waste rocks? You are not putting that there. Is it a waste rock? Yeah. Meteor shower incoming. Oh, you build this one. All right. Okay. Let's see how much help we can get. Anomaly analyzed. Nice. Sixteen souls, and we will remove this. Whoa, that was close to the fuel reserves. Okay, guys, wish me luck. Okay, the dust storm is over. We still have a meteor storm, but luckily it hit that part of the map. And now we have a problematic moxie. You tap the red light on the terminal with your finger. It should have turned green when the dust storm disappeared. This Dissipated. Looks like a MUX unit is out of order. MUX is shut down during dust storms to prevent their dust filter from jamming up and damaging the unit. However, the filter on this one is completely clogged. Oxygen production is vital for the colony, but the filter repair will take 24 hours. What should we do? Uh, we can wait for 24 hours. We still have uh, a good deal of uh, reserves. Also, we had to start the expansion now because we uh, slowly started to run out of concrete and we can't have that. So we build everything we had to and we will build soon if we have a like uh, 120 concrete uh, we will build the dome as well also i decided to produce some waste rocks so we can finish this uh, rock formation and what we need now uh, well not right now but once the meteor storm is over or it's still around there yes where is the meteor storm Anyway, let's check how we have metals here, so let's start collecting some metals. I know we have uh, plenty of metals close by, but that's the point. We can access it uh, even with drones if we really have to. So I want to keep them as an emergency reserve. Okay, and now we can also have a new planet uh, or check on a new planetary anomaly and unknown. Sector scanned. But I think before that uh, I will I will save the game. If it's a really bad thing, I don't want to reload uh, from the start of the episode. And believe me, this game is is hard, even with uh, uh, a little bit of safe scanning. And the real trouble is, if you miscalculate something, you might be paid the consequences like 30, 40 souls later, especially uh, with people. Okay, now we can do this. That's why we bought the uh, safari. Yeah, 
The meteor storm haven't yielded any anomalies, but might have yielded some uh, polymers, maybe. So let's check. I don't see polymers. Oh, there, there are some. Okay. Two polymer, that's not bad. Because every little bit helps. Lift me up. During flight, the flight to the anomaly side, the engine stalled and the rocket began losing altitude. Only through sheer luck, the rocket managed to make an emergency landing on a safe spot, but even now, there are no signs that the engine could start working again. Okay, let's see if it's uh, worth it. 55 million sentry rescue supply plus with replacement parts. Wait, that's it? Can we go there again? I mean, can we do the same planetary anomaly again? I wait for it to return. And we'll see. It touch down. No. Okay. So I don't want to lose money. Resources are low. So in that case, we are not going to check the planetary anomaly out. But if you're sending him here to collect those metal deposits. Okay, is there any other planetary anomaly we can check out with five officers. Oh, we can have a break too. Okay, I'll consider it because we, we can have some breakthroughs there. But let's let's check out the breakthrough. Now that we have the RC Safari, why not? Through discovered. That's uh, that will be a problem in the long run. Cold wave approaching. Okay, fix that leak, and we discovered a new breakthrough. Well, in fact, we have discovered two, and we are already researching one of them: the service bots because we can build service buildings and we can uh, use them without any employees which is great so i decided to research this first and then we will finish in the holographic scanning because uh, with this we immediately we can win at least two workers and what's that? Building construction themselves now slowly without drones. No nice we seek out resources from nearby resource deposits. Not bad, but not uh, terribly good for us either at this stage.
sector scanned. And let's see the third anomaly. Breakthrough discovered. Amplifier brings a bigger boost to production. I like the quote. I really, really like the quote. Yeah, we need this as well. These are really, really nice. What we really need is more people so we can build research laboratories and stuff. And I'm just building here uh, well to have uh, multiple ways to access various parts of the map, but I don't like that. Especially that I want to get here with the transport. For those polymers. Okay. It's dissipated. Guys, we just have to turn down the amplify, uh, or amplify thingies and everything will be good. So I did that and now we might be surviving this. Of course we have to sacrifice the polymer factory. And I hope uh, it will turn to a positive energy when the sun is or when the this shift is over and the machine parts factory stops. Yeah, okay. Let's check on on this. Okay. Let's finish uh, this tunnel. We don't have enough power. We just don't have enough power. This will be a cold night. That's not good. I do not dare build uh, any more wind turbine because of the repair cost. Desperately need more workforce. Oh, and by the way, we already have renegades. We are losing a lot of electronics. And we need quite a bit of electronics for... Uh, for the factory.
Okay, let's see how the night will look. And before that, let's collect some metals. Maybe from here, if we have, yes, we have a good deal, a good deal of metals we have here. Oh, that dust devil was in the wrong place. That's in a very, very wrong place. Hurry up, guys. Okay, it's going straight toward us, so let's... Okay. It, it moved away. Or break on, on that. That was close. Okay, guys. We finished this dome. And I think I made a slight mistake here because I built it and we used 10 polymers. And we don't have polymer production right now. And we will don't have for at least half a soul. Because 3 hours uh, for the cold wave and a couple of more hours to run freeze and fix this. The other problem that... Uh, we don't have enough colonists. We really, really don't have enough colonists and they are getting older. And... I don't know. That's a lot of dudes. Let's uh, check... I wanted to check how many male or female. That's not good. That's one female. Two. We have three females. And all three are middle-aged. Yeah, I, I think... Uh, I think it's a failure again. Because that... Those women cannot produce. It, it should be the other way around. Like... Uh, uh, five, six male and everybody else is female. I think the, the population uh, screwed us over again. <sighs> okay. We'll see. I, I think there's, there's one more episode in it and if this trend is not uh, turning around or every, every female became a senior, at which, which point they won't have any more children. Then basically it's game over. The comfort is very good. Okay guys, we will see it, but uh, only in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and i see you in the next one. Bye!